Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning July 20th, 2020. All right, so before we get into it, if you would like a personal reading with me, just go to my website at angelsouls444.com and if you want to check out some courses, some of you have been asking for content on Archangels and I have a whole Archangel series over at Gumroad, so all that information is down below. So I wanted, well, we'll do the message here, but I wanted to try some new decks this week and I came across <laughs> this one. You guys remember this? So I was sent this by the publisher. It's Ask an Angel Oracle Cards and this is a Tony Carmine Salerno deck. I really loved the deck, but I ended up shelving it uh, because there was a Fallen Angel card that I guess is supposed to be like the devil card for tarot within the deck. Now, to me, that was kind of like, oh man, really? Come on. Like, I understand wanting to balance the light and the dark and all that stuff, but whatever. So I took that out. <laughs> I took that card out and I want to give this card deck a go this week. Um, maybe I will just, to ease into it, maybe I'll just pull one card. Like, this will be like the equivalent of our color card, okay? So I'm going to try that because it does list the angels and the archangels on it. And, you know, that's what we do here. And I think that that's important for us to do that. But for the bulk of the reading, I will be using uh, this Angels of Atlantis deck by Stuart Pierce. All right. So as far as a message goes, short circuiting, people are short circuiting. And so there will be maybe more aggravation, uh, more people trying to find their steadiness in this world and trying to figure out where they land. So there have been lots of unexpected upheaval type things. Um, again, I'm not an astrologer, but I would highly recommend that you check out your astrological charts for this week as well, just to see what's going on here, because it does feel very individual. Um, but what I will say is that we are, I don't want to say that we're being tested, but we are going to be experiencing people acting out. And I know people will say, well, we've already been doing that. I'm talking like, you're going to see how you are responding to things in a very different manner. Okay. Where maybe you would be really, really patient. Now you're starting to lose your patience, but it's not as if you're being cruel or explosive or anything like that. It's more just sort of like, um, no, I'm setting a boundary. No, no, no. I've been through this lesson too many times. I'm laying it down. That's how it's going to go, right? There could be some nice surprises for people out there where all of a sudden you meet somebody fantastic, <laughs> right? And there's a feeling around that. Or you start to maybe change your idea of what kind of relationship works for you. Or um, some of you are starting, you're taking a chance on yourselves and you're starting new businesses or you're uh, revamping your old business, Right. So there's a lot of um, I think we said, was it last week? I don't remember uh, where there's going to be like deconstruction. Right. So things just kind of falling down, but we're the one who activated it. So there there is that sort of feeling still happening this week that we need to be aware of. So it's a continuation of what we've been saying where we are realizing who we are dealing with. OK, we're realizing who we're dealing with. Things are starting to open up, but it has on an individual level, this feeling of, um, there, there could be a lot of stress, uh, around this definitely mostly because it just feels like we can't get on in some cases, it feels like we can't get on the same page with other people just out in life. And then in another sense, in like whole areas of your life, this is where you finally get something taken care of health wise. Uh, there's a solution anything that's been kind of open-ended, you find a solution, right? Uh, or again, you redefine what kind of love partner you're looking for and all of that. So I, you know, normally we try to focus on <laughs> expanding our consciousness and, and all of that, but this does feel like a very material manifestation kind of week. Now, does that mean that you automatically get your payoff this week? Mm, maybe for some of you, sure. But it's more about the personal revolution, it's more about, oh, I have an inspirational idea. <laughs> like, oh, I want to do that. Oh, yes, I want to go that direction. Or this could be someone coming out of uh, nowhere and saying, hey, I like what you do. Do you want a job with me? Or something like that, right? Or you suddenly get inspired. You hear of something that helps you with your health, okay? So I want to offer that. Again, we don't get messages like that 
very often. We are also getting, uh, again, I don't know how to say this. Like some people would say it's a portal opening, but there is an opening and some angels are starting to come forward and help us. Yeah, it's like the next layer of angels. I, I don't know how to put it, but we've always been protected by angels in our spiritual teams. But now there are more angels coming in to help out. Okay. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we should probably talk about this too. So I'm, I'm understanding because I start feeling pulled in a lot of different directions. Actually, this deck, this deck here, this one. Um, I should mention that because you guys do tend to watch me use decks and then you buy them sometimes, I want you to be aware and remember that there's that dark angel card in there. Um, I'm just, like I said, I took mine out and I have it charging, the rest of the deck charging. But the other thing is that you should be aware of that this takes a very like planetary, like planetary approach to angels. Okay. So that's more of a new age approach than like a theological one. Okay. Does that make sense? Um, of course there are so many different ways and this is what I wanted to get into. There's so many different ways of perceiving the angels. Uh, it could be from a theological standpoint, you know, then the new age kind of has their planetary, um, angels. I just heard the term angel magic and I will tell you right now, I don't know what that is. Okay. <laughs> and actually, uh, when I, you know, I always had this connection and wouldn't always talk about it, but uh, I just kind of relate to the angels the way that I do and hope that it's helpful for other people, right? So I, I've never been really big on having to pick a club, like an angel club, like this is how I see the angels and blah, blah, blah. I just kind of do it the way I do. So uh, be aware of that, okay? And we can, as we go through these cards, we can talk a little bit more about angels and archangels. Now, they're coming through and wanting, they're wanting to be understood a little bit better and Yes, again, there are all these stories behind various angels and archangels. But what they're wanting me to express, I'm getting chills on the left side of my body, <laughs> is that they function in, a, in accordance with human functioning. Okay, so I, let me see what the heck that means. So I'm getting the feeling that the way uh, angels were portrayed and filtered through human beings and how we understood them, it's almost like they had to be in a different work mode. <laughs> I'm going to put it a very human way. Hang with me here. This isn't going to be, I, I think, exactly accurate to what, <laughs> what they're trying to get across here. But like, you know, way, way, way back when humans were almost comprised of, I don't know if it's comprised of a different material necessarily, but um, having a different frequency, having a different way of perceiving the world, they showed up in the form that they had to, to guide in that way. We are now in a very different era. We are in a very different frequency. We have changed on a cellular level. And so they are here to guide us in that way. This isn't bad, what I'm about to say, uh, that people do. It's not bad. But um, we want to remember, see, a lot of people will invoke angels or have an interest in angels not because of the divine love that they can bring or what they can teach us about that divine love and how we can express that in human form, how we could be better to one another, how we can be more self-aware so that we can heal, you know, all those kinds of things and show up with a, a higher frequency, but rather people will take an interest in angels strictly so they can get something. Okay. Oh, this angel's going to help me get love. This angel's going to help me find my purpose. This angel's going to, and they'll do that. They're here to guide and help. But again, there's this weird little thing called an intention, <laughs> right, with us humans. So we want to make sure that we are, um, you know, showing love and, and letting the angels come on in and teach us about that love. All right. Now, let's talk about the difference between, <laughs> I get this question a lot. What's the difference between like, uh, like an interloping soul and an angel soul? Okay. Um, Sometimes I've heard people say, oh, when I woke up in the morning, I heard this voice in my head. Really what's happening, okay, let's break that down for a second. Really what's happening is if you are getting guidance, it, it's sort of a, a different version of your own internal voice. And people might disagree with that and say, no, 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 no. Mine is a male voice and I am female and I hear a message come through in a male voice. Your inner voice doesn't really have a gender. Okay, angels don't have a gender. Everybody's got their take. Everybody has their way of seeing the angels. The way I have gotten the information in is that, 
you know, gender, you know, binary, the binary gender system is the duality consciousness construct, just as is linear time. Okay. So that's not really, they don't go by the same rules we do. All right. And we're always trying to put the way we perceive things onto them. Right. So, uh, we want to be aware of that. But if you hear, let's say you hear a voice and it's not, it's not anchored into anything. Okay. That's where <laughs> psychological community starts having a field day with that, right? Because it's just a voice in your head. It's just, and, and you might even say that it's not even your internal voice, you know, taking in guidance, but that it's an extraneous voice or something like that. That is maybe a different thing than hearing some, having your own inner voice, however it's presenting itself, sort of activated. And then there's a loop of energy that comes over you. So it's a whole body, whole being activation. Okay. So that's the difference. If you have just sort of like a disconnected voice going on, um, that's probably maybe an astral realm being that might be an interloping soul. It might be something like along those lines. Um, but when it is an angelic presence that is pure and loving, see, this is another gauge, um, because there are fallen angels, there are fallen angels. So, um, you will feel peace and love. You'll probably feel a lot of power come forward. Um, and definitely do not let other human beings, um, try to convince you of what an angel is like. I mean, and, and what I mean by that is I, I've had people come to me and tell me, no, you're not wrong. You're not really talking to angels, you know, because I know Archangel Gabriel and Gabriel shows up like this, Ugh. but we don't want to apply the ego to the spiritual aspect of this. Okay. So sometimes, especially I've heard people where they're just projecting their, um, I'm trying not to cough. I swear to God, <laughs> it looks like on my throat. Um, <laughs> just keep going here. Um, but people will try to, uh, project what they think Gabriel is onto Gabriel. Have you ever had anybody argue with you, whether Gabriel is male or female? Yeah. Right. And, and it just, it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. As long as you're getting that purity, feeling over you a loving feeling then that's an angel or an archangel that you can work with okay so if you have questions on that leave them down below um, if i get enough of the same kind of question i can address that in a separate video okay now let's get some cards and uh i have some new decks coming i have the chakra uh one from Rochelle Sharman coming. Um, I got, I got Tony Carmine Salerno's, uh, romance deck, which came out years and years and years ago, never bought it, but we can, we can use those two. And I got a botanical one. What was the other one I got? I don't remember. There's another one. I got lots of new ones coming, so we can shake it up. All right, guys, let's see what we have here. Now I like these cards quite a bit. Again, these are from Stuart Pierce, Angels of Atlantis, and what the heck, while we're at it, the cardstock is not thick. Okay. So just be aware of that. However, I've had these since maybe a couple of years after they came out and I've used them and they're in great shape. So you'd be fine. Okay. <laughs> but this is, uh, orbs and sound frequency. Very cool. things are getting resolved this week. Okay. Things are getting resolved and there's a lot of learning. Like it's very well aspected for us. If we, you know, learn something, pick something up, um, and let whenever someone is acting out, try as best as we can, because we're sensitive, right? But best as we can to just kind of go, okay, that's a minor annoyance. It's not as big a deal as maybe they want me to make it. Right. And, and pick up something that really, um, gets your creativity going. It could be anything. There it is. Okay. Let's see what we have here. <laughs> we have Haniel Courage. Now, this is a beautiful card. First of all, we have this beautiful jewel red going on. And this is feeling safe in your own skin. This is feeling like, no, I'm not going to accept a story I've always been told or fed or 
Um, I'm not going to see myself as less worthy just because someone has that opinion, right? Um, and also I think courage has to do with have courage to hang in there and wait for things to play out a little bit, yes? Now Hanio, I've always known and associated Hanio with a feminine energy, but that's just me, okay? <laughs> like again, it doesn't really matter, but with a feminine energy and uh, like divine feminine strength and balancing and beauty and harmony and you know all those kinds of things so it's interesting that by choosing courage choosing to take the courageous route I think there will be a flow of beauty and harmony uh, and rest <laughs> that comes behind it right but what that also does though too if we're looking at like a lunar energy um, and if it's a I think it's actually a new moon this week isn't it I have to look it up. I don't know. But if we're talking in terms of like a full moon energy where there's a release and things are illuminated, it's like something comes to light so that it can be cleared away. Yes. So root chakra, work on that. Feeling very, very grounded. Mm -hmm. And then we have, nice. I forgot how much I love these cards. They're really beautiful. So this is sandalfin intention remember we were talking about intention <laughs> a little thing called intention so you know when we think that we're well intentioned we have to really stop and evaluate because you know we in our human ego consciousness it's very self-preserving even over somebody else right and so again you look if you're going to work with the angels if you come at the angels with the intention of i just want to um gain more popularity and and it's just so you seem popular and not because you actually want to have beautiful connection with other people you know you see the difference there sandal thin there's another feeling here of being balanced so hanio is about balancing too and sandal thin is about grounding and on the hanio card we had that root chakra looking you know imagery yes so really allow yourselves to just be balanced be centered as the world is shaking and quaking and crumbling down and burning down and whatever you're just sort of like, I'm here. I'm just here. Keep your intentions. You know, we could say keep your intentions pure, but I think it goes beyond that. Um, it's, it's be aware of your intentions. Okay. You can't just blindly go out and manifest something because it benefits you, but it might harm another. Yes. And they're even saying now there's a lot of false messaging, a lot of false messaging and things going out there through the internet <laughs> I mean that is a web over the over the whole earth right and if used properly it can be really wonderful you can connect with somebody I can connect to somebody in France or in New Zealand you know what I'm saying but used inappropriately now we're spreading misinformation now we're spreading um, what we think is I don't know because I want to I want to be all respectful and everything to everybody all love and respect to everybody out there who does this but you would know the people I'm talking about as I say this. So this idea of spreading magic and not everybody knows what to do with it and not everybody knows how to be responsible with it, okay? Or tapping into a lowest common denominator to be popular, right? Again, you know, it's all about self-preservation and we humans, we wanna be loved, we wanna be understood, we wanna be heard, right? But we have to start looking at that. There could be something happening this week that helps us open that awareness around what our intentions are okay then we have joe file forgiveness yeah a lot of peace so sandalfin is all about peace as well but a lot of peace and beauty coming on in here through forgiving and releasing now this might be on a minor level again if people are acting out you just kind of like okay i just uh, forgive you okay bye <laughs> right and just keep it moving there's my new catchphrase keep it moving but there's beauty in this and that is the takeaway from this right so forgiveness in and, of, in and of itself is incredibly powerful but the beauty that then ensues you know that's what's going to carry you forward and being in your higher wisdom yes and we get out of touch with that you know when we get angry um, or we feel like someone's trying to basically put their free will over ours and that's where we get that self-preservation reaction yes that's where we see people fly off the handle or they you know come a little too hard at somebody or they're trying to be right you know all those things but if we can just get ourselves tuned up <laughs> right and open that crown chakra open that crown chakra let the divine flow on in you have a little bit of a chance to remember who you really are
okay? And it's not the story that you're in. Then we have Metatron. Nice. So we have Metatron and we had Sandalfin. They're brothers. Uh, we have Mercy. And so, wow, there's a lot. See, I said there's going to be people acting out and we might have a wildly different response than we ever have in the past. And that response might be, you know, compassion. And, you know, you are showing someone mercy with the forgiveness and mercy. And, you know, you're showing someone a kindness. You're showing someone an understanding. All right. So Metatron has to do with the indigo aspect of you. So your third eye and is very protective of children. So if you have children in your life, ask Archangel Metatron to watch over them. But in addition to that, Metatron can look after your inner child. All right. So. There is that. Again, beautiful cards. Now let me try this other deck here. Let's see how we like it. Okay. Now these are nice because they're matte. So, you know, you can see these are glossy. Sorry for the impromptu reviews here, but you see how that can be a little problematic. You have to turn the card. It's just an extra thing that you have to think about if you tend to do readings on camera in front of lights. And these are matte. All right. And I know some of you out there, because it's the internet, someone's going to be like, you said you went for bringing, <laughs> taking there, not bringing, but taking out that card. I just, you know, I had to follow my instincts on that. I don't like it. I don't like it. Sorry. I made that executive decision for everybody. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's see what we get here. Oh, ah, I'm wrecking the cards already, y'all. <laughs> Oops. One more shuffle, I think we'll do it. Okay. <laughs> Beauty, Archangel Haniel. So we have a lot of, wow, discovery. It's cracking open. It's understanding. Again, Haniel, work with Haniel this week, guys, because, oh, you can't see it because my finger's in the way. Let me do that. Um, oh, wait, it doesn't matter. I do B-roll anyway. Cool. All right. <laughs> but this is uh, all about finding your inner beauty. And that means how you look at the world. And it's you know so funny because I just met somebody who uh, is very beautiful, very like stunning, I would say, and very concerned about that. And very, oh, like, do I look okay? Am I all right? You know, what? And I'm like, girl, <laughs> please <laughs> You see what's happening here? You're fine, okay? <laughs> like, especially if you're standing next to me, you're fine, okay? But, <laughs> but you know, she, she's so focused on external beauty that she misses the internal beauty. And, you know, she, she puts a lot of energy into making sure that she could be approved of. Don't need to do that, all right? Beauty is everywhere. And we are tapping into it this week, but tapping into it by releasing, by forgiving by showing mercy. Okay, I want to get another one. Let's see. Well, these do kind of stick to each other because it's a brand new deck. So give me a second here. Feel it out. Boom. Oh, 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 oh got two. Again, it's a new deck, so they're sticking together. So we get bonus cards. Oh, okay. I got this. I got this. I swear I do. <laughs> so, we, so we have special message, guardian angel. So be aware of that. Oh, Stillness Cassiel. Let's talk about Angel Cassiel. So Cassiel um, is, is, you know, if you're talking about planetary approach to angels and that energy, this is the one that says Cassiel stillness. So Cassiel is a very Saturnian energy. Yes. And Cassiel is sort of like learning. We'll get to this here in a second, but learning how to find a solution to something in your world by going on the long haul, <laughs> right? By going on the long journey by being very thorough, okay? And really kind of prepping you for that future, okay? That you're wanting to bring in. So it, you know, Casio I have heard gets associated with creativity quite a bit, but it's not what you think, okay? It's not like, okay, I'm, I'm working on a song, Casio, come on in and help me get this finished today. No, 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 Casio, if you're gonna, uh, you know, connect Cassiel to creativity, it's more like writing that novel that ends up transforming you as you work on it for years. That's the kind of energy here. Now, this card says stillness. And this is 
uh, a message to stop pushing. Just be still, okay? Because, you know, the more we push or try to hurry up and get things done, we want them off of our plate. We might act too quickly and make more of a mess. Or we might act too quickly trying to shove ahead on our path and you miss all of these beautiful experiences because, you know, you have it in your head or we would all get it in our, in our head that the outcome is the most important part. And we miss all the glorious little steps that, again, get us prepared for that future. If you were to quickly, like if we had Archangel Nathaniel, Nathaniel, if you're ready, brings in an outcome pretty quickly, all right, and helps you get in touch with your passions. But if your future, like right now, let's just do this as an exercise right now. If you close your eyes and you imagine like what would be a dream, like something you want right now, right now, right now, right now, and then boom, imagine that it was here you would be freaked out. You'd be looking around going, okay, well, I wasn't really ready to be in a mansion. How do I take care of this? Oh, and where's my home where I raised my kids? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's, you know, that's just an example of the difference there between Nathaniel helping you get in touch with your passions and Casio, which is the long um, sort of crafting of a solution. Okay. So be still, don't push ahead on too much this week. Like I said, I think I said this before where we get the inspiration, but you may not see the whole outcome this week. Then we have a special message from the guardian angel. So this is really beautiful too, because there is a message about how to carry forward something very specific to you. And again, some of you, there could, I, I don't know why this keeps coming up, but like a surprising love partner, a surprising, <laughs> surprising love partner. It could be, it feels kind of like a dream come true. Like I never knew I could find somebody who's this nice and this good to me and, you know, but make sure you're tuned in. Okay. And make sure that you're being honest with yourself and your guardian angel will guide you to what is right for you. Okay. So I don't know that love message just kind of came up <laughs> Wanted to offer that, but you know, pay attention to if you're being guided in a different direction or you're being asked to take a different approach to your health or, uh, to maybe take a day off. I know how many of us, <laughs> How many of us feel bad when we take a day off, right? And just meditate and go for a walk and maybe read a book. I don't know. It feels like we're like not accomplishing life. And actually, just this morning, I was sitting there. I was like, you know, I got to shake this weekly video thing up again. I got to experiment with some camera angles or something and, you know, all these, all these things. And then I started thinking, I'm like, what am I complaining about? There are astrologers out there who literally tap into... <laughs> every sign every week and then they do monthlies i don't know how they do it i'll be very honest with you okay and i sat there and i was like there are people out there who do so much more as far as like content creation what the heck am i doing with my time <laughs> like, what am i doing but you know a lot of my time is spent with personal readings prepping filming editing posting monitoring as much as i can comments on my various platforms and things like that but a lot of my time is spent studying and walking my talk. Right? So uh, if I'm going to tell you guys, hey, take up a creative project, I better be doing it myself. If that message is coming through for you, it's for me too, right? Because I'm, I'm a human being. So here I am. Um, and, and taking care of myself and making sure I'm going through meditative practices and paying attention to how I feel after expanding my awareness, right? So I think, you know, when we're talking about stillness and the special message, if you get this message to be still, or to take the day off and to focus on your spiritual practice or something along those lines, or to stay home and play in the garden. Nothing wrong with that. Y'all who are into nature angels, you're gonna love this deck I have coming to me, the botanical one. You're gonna freak out when you see it, okay? It is stunning, <laughs> it is, can't even take it. But yeah, I think, you know, if you are feeling the pull to kind of just get centered and just take the day off and not be pushing on something. If you feel the pressure to keep going this week and you know, you really do want to just take a moment for yourself, don't feel guilty, all right? Give yourself that grace. Okay, so we're gonna leave it there, guys. I am sending you all so much love and take care.
uh, the Tony Carmine Salerno desk. Okay, so I live in a place where there are lots of dogs. <laughs> People let them just bark and it, it's just a thing, but it's fine. All right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if I do personal reads, I'm like, it's guaranteed there's probably at some point going to be either a, a speeding truck that's making noise in the background or a dog. Metatron can... <laughs>